Hey guys, this is Rainer from Stormbringer Magazine. I'm two, here with two metal legends from the United States. On my right is Geoff Thorpe, and then it's Larry Howe from Vicious Rumors. Geoff, it's a band, Vicious Rumors. I'm really into it since the very first beginning. It's, it's now 25 years, Soldiers of the Night. <laughs> When you look back, uh, after you brought this LP out in 1986, did you have the imagination that now 25 years later you're still kicking some real metal ass in the whole of the world well actually yes because uh i i my plan was to be in you know i was always impressed by bands that uh had long careers and many albums out so that was certainly my goal um It, I, to me, a lot of people ask me that, you know, how, how do you do it for so long? But, you know, for us, really, it's simple, man. We love it. We love the action. This is what we do. And uh, we got a long ways to go. And, uh, man, as far as I'm concerned, Vicious Rumors is just getting started. Yeah, that's <laughs> like when you start when you're 10, you know, it's a piece of cake. <laughs> you were not 10, 25 years ago. <laughs> sure I was. You didn't see the credits and we were all kids. We were younger than Death Angel. <laughs> um, the singers. That's a, a, an own chapter in Vicious Rumors. Sure. Uh, especially since the tragically loss of Carl. You had you tried it to sing. You had uh, other guys singing like Brian O'Connor, like Morgan Thorne. Then James Rivera did the Wobble thing. Sure. Then you had Ronnie Sticks with whom you did not really an album. And now you have... The new man on the vocals, Brian Elam. Sure. And if I might say that, surely the best Vicious Rumors singer since Carl. I guess you have the same opinion. I would absolutely agree with that. You know, when, when you start with the best, like we did with Carl Albert, it's, you know, we're, it's very hard. When you start at the top, it's very hard to go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So um, it was an honor and a real privilege for us to have our brother Uh, for so many years by our side, Carl Albert, rest in peace. And, uh, and absolutely, you know, we've, we've gone through a lot of singers, we've gone through a lot of changes. And uh, Brian Allen, uh, definitely the, the best singer for Vicious Rumors since Carl. And, and we're experiencing now uh, a high peak in Vicious Rumors like never before. Uh, we're doing the biggest tour we've been on. We're playing many festivals. Um, we've got great slots on the festivals. We headline Keep It True. We're co-headlining the Rock Hard Festival with Down and Overkill. Um, you know, we're, we're doing so many, all the metal fests in, here in Austria, Czech, Hungary, and Germany. Uh, and Switzerland. And, well, no, not Switzerland no, for us. No, but we're, we're at the Dockham Festival in the Netherlands. We're at the Alcatraz Festival in Belgium, the Little Hammer Festival in Norway. Um, the Thund we're headlining the Thunder and Lightning Festival in Bonn, Germany. We're headlining the Sword Brothers Festival in Germany. So we're having the time of our lives. We're living yeah. our dream. And uh, this is metal, man, yeah. done by the guys that did it the first time. Larry, how was it for you when we turned the time a little bit back? Something Burning album, Joff was taking over the vocals. <laughs> how was this experience? Well, that whole year was kind of, you know, I don't really think about that year a whole lot. You know, it was a bad time. It, we were all a little angry, a little pissed off, and I was, we were all going through a lot of changes. So, you know, it was tough. It was really tough. I mean, uh, you know, I, I, I started stepping up to the plate a little more background vocals and stuff here because, you know, When we lost Mark and Carl, that was, you know, they did the lion's share of all the harmonies and stuff. But I love to harmonize and sing, of course. Uh, my father was an incredible musician. He played clarinet and sax, and so I'm used to hearing melodies and stuff in my head, plus the sick voices that make me want to kill people. No, 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 I'm oh, sorry. Easy. No, oh, that's why I played drums, so I'm not a mass murderer. That's what it is. But I had a great time, you know, doing that. And so there was, also we had some fun tours, too. We, that's when we toured with Accept. I think I pissed off Udo when I spilled some beer on his vest. Was like, ah! He was the only guy that didn't barf on the, the boat, too. When well, we he came. still wants us to support him on oh, his next right. tour. Yeah. But, uh, you, you know, also, you know, it's not that we really, we didn't really set out to do the vocals on Something Burning, Larry and myself. We were just in such an awkward position when we lost Carl. And we felt like we, tr we tried several guys. We actually found some very good singers, but we were just so, like, distraught that we just felt like, you know, the only way for us to carry on at that time was to just carry on without him. Uh, it took us, like, a little time to really heal from that and then to get back on track. 
and um, and and get the sound of Vicious Rumors, the five piece sound. And like Larry said, you know, when Carl and Mark were gone, then it was up to Larry and I to sort of step up and take over mm-hmm. and and. Till still to this day, now on the background vocals and all those things, Larry and I are doing all the arranging and and in the studio and live, and uh, you know we've we've stepped up our game quite a bit to do that, and um, but you know the whole thing is, man, is that we're out here changing lives on a daily basis, man, and we do this because it's in our blood, and when people see us, they feel it and they know it's real, man. We do this for real because, um, I'll tell you, man, this is our lives. Life is short, so we live it well, and we live it to the fullest. Um, even when the circle is a little one, but especially at the Keep It Through a few weeks ago, uh, uh, the circle was closed because James was there playing with Malice. Absolutely. Brian did, I guess, one or two gigs with Malice. So uh, all the negotiations you had with James uh, in 2007 after he left and the band there over, so you are again good friend with him. You oh, can speak absolutely. You know, James and Vicious Rum- James is part of the Vicious Rumors family and always will be. And uh, we've performed together several times since the Warball album. Uh, we surprised the uh, Headbangers Open Air audience when Hellstar finished their set and was going to come back for an encore vicious rumors came out and we did two songs from warball um we've also uh, james has performed with us since then in uh, the u.s and here in europe and we're also going to be doing shows vicious rumors and hellstar will be doing shows in august and also playing at the alcatraz festival in belgium so you know once you're in the vr family it's like the mafia you're always in the family get up get out easy baby there's only one way out <laughs> Larry, you, you changed. The uh, Wobble was released from Mascot Records. Now you're a SPV and your record company. Uh, had you many offers on the table and why you uh, choose to sign with SPV? Well, you know, um, that they were the ones who had uh, came to the table for us. And, um, you know, they, they seemed like the right choice at the time. And uh, right now they're, they're helping us, you know, out a lot. They're, uh, they're putting us in their print ads we got a few nice print ads there in the magazines and you know they're they're really glad that the album's doing so well and rock hard number one hello and uh so i mean the album actually is working for itself and they're happy to have us so you know they haven't you know had to do a whole lot but uh you know they're working We're, we're actually spv's most active band right now i mean we're we're on tour from april through december uh back and forth all over europe and and uh Asia, USA. So we're, um, it's exciting. And uh, we've also had a history with Ali Han, the main guy at SPV, um, a real industry professional, someone that I deeply respect and uh, very happy to be working with him again. You know, um, SPV is a kind of label, you know, it's that, uh, that now Vicious Rumors, it's like, you know, they really believed in the band and, you know, They stepped up for us, and so we're off to a great start with them. And, uh, you know, they had some restructuring in their career, and so did Vicious Rumors. And, you know, sometimes when you go through something like that, it it puts a fire under you, and you feel the importance of, uh, you know, make getting it right. You know what I mean? So sometimes you have to get a little bit of loss to push yourself forward to the next level. And that's what Vicious Rumors is doing right now. We're stepping up on several levels uh if you look at our slots on the festivals we're higher up on the bill the crowd reaction is getting crazy as larry mentioned we were number one in uh, the sound check rock hard magazine album of the month Thanks, Gods. and uh <laughs> you know there's only one way to get that and that's for the experts at rock hard to like your album and um we did it once before in 1988 with digital dictator so to do it in 1988 and to do it again in 2011 was a, a real honor for us and like i said man we're out here we're out here playing for blood scratching tooth and nail loving everything we're doing and uh you could call you know, it a new renaissance of vicious rumors it's absolutely it's absolutely some of the best times in our 33 year career we have to speak about two songs on the new album the first one is uh let the garden burn uh, i do know it's your Uh, festival whom you wrote this song for festivals like Headbangers Opener, Bang Your Head, Rock Hard Festivals and so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm 
totally with you that this song is live, probably most of the killing tracks you have in your set list. But would you agree that on CD it's a little bit cheesy with all this hey and ho? And for me, it's like a, a mixture between Twisted Sister and Man of War. Well, um, you know, you know, if you can't take heavy metal too damn seriously, you know what I mean? I mean, when you think about cheese, you know, we're you having we're having the time of our lives out here. I forgot my pizza. And uh, <laughs> hey, you know what? That song comes from the heart, and uh, and we have had some of the times of our lives at these festivals. So we wanted to make a real anthem, a real tribute that people could get involved in. And so far, it's like we played that song. Right when we play that song, the people pick up on it right away. The fists are in the air. The voice people are singing, and we have a great time playing it. So uh, I love it, man. Okay, but I know there is one song for you. That's your special song in the new album. It's called "All I Want Is You." Absolutely. Uh, for me. Two, but for me the song uh, a little bit reminds me on Lady Took a Chance. Is that right? Oh well, you know I, that's uh, you know part of my writing style, I guess. You know that I have some similarities throughout the years, but uh, you know that's one thing that Vicious Rumors. I think um, you know we've established a sound mm -hmm. through uh, the the trademarks of Vicious Rumors, and uh, you know our, we have a trademark background vocal sound. We have trademark harmony guitars, trademarks of brutality and melodic sensibility so um you know i think as time goes on that we get better at what we do i i would like to think that we could be we're better songwriters better musicians and um you know we we wanted to make a record that had all the trademarks of vicious rumors but also the power and the energy of today with with a huge arena type production because i feel that our music is meant to be in the stadium you know and uh, all i want is you is a very special song for me um i think it's got a really catchy hook and a great melody and uh i really enjoyed uh singing and playing on it and uh the a completely different tempo and i don't do any of the same drum stuff as on lady so i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> but you know it's all good uh, if, i i appreciate it being compared to lady took a chance because that lady took a chance is one of our most classic songs so uh i will take that as a compliment thank you. <laughs> thank you larry um you have a pretty loyal and a pretty following uh, uh fan base uh especially here in Europe. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you have any explanation why Vicious Rumors don't have this loyal fame base in the States? Because uh, as far as I know, the European probably fame base is much, much bigger than the one in the States. Probably the same reason most all the other bands don't, because it's just not a whole lot of... I mean, yeah, sure, like Metallica and something like that can still fill up a stadium over there, but there's just not really, uh, you know... That vibe. There, there aren't the festivals where people are camping out and just having. A, it's just a big family of metal over here, and over there, it's you know, it's a whole hassle and people. You know, the, the, it's just not the same. The scene over in America is just not nearly the same as it is in Europe here, and we like it here. And the the, the fans here are more. They like kind of the more the artistic sound of of metal and the funness of it. You know, we're not pre-processed crap you know that's been out there commercialized or whatever to hit the masses i mean maybe that's how you get really rich i guess but if i was in this for money i would have quit a long time ago i guess but it's just not the same you know the scene there was a scene back there in uh, the late 80s and the early 90s and we had a great time doing it we used to tour the states when you know we were young the fans were young you know the girls were young and we had a good time And that's all I'm going to say about that. But, <laughs> but you know, it's different now, uh, extremely. But uh, we still have a good time. But, uh, you know. We'll see. <laughs> yes. Well, the night is young. But, uh, you know, also, also, Vicious Rumors has had a 33-year career. So, you know, I mean... Sure, sure. The, the scene in the U.S., it, like Larry said, is very different. Um, we love it over here because it's so it's so concentrated. The, the fans are so true and so into it, and and we feel really blessed to have had our start here many years ago, um, and to continue to come here. But you know, um, I feel incredibly successful in Vicious Rumors uh, because you know this is our thirty thirty third year of metal. And uh, man, how many bands can say that, you know? And we're still going strong, man. I mean, you know, with the loss of Dio and Scorpions and Judas Priest saying goodbye, our arms are open wide. Come to Vicious Rumors because we're not going anywhere. 
thank you guys for your time. And all I can say is, these guys here play every night 20 incredible songs for their crowd. And it doesn't matter if there are 5,000 or if there are 50 people. That's they right, always yeah. metal to the blood. And that's what it stays for us. Thank you very much. Keep it real.